Hi my love, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is your new moon reading and I'm so excited. The new moon was a doozy. The new moon was on the 15th, which was two days ago, but we are still fresh into it. New moon cycles are um, three days after, so we're still fresh in the new moon. Um, <clears throat> and it was, a, it was a doozy because it was a lot of energy. People were responding to it differently. Some people were really feeling it. Other people were not. I was one of those that was not. Um, so depending on how you responded to it, the cards will kind of show that. So we'll, we'll trust the cards um, to intuitively reveal that for us. But um, what I want to do is focus on, you know, what release and, and what your focus should be this cycle. Um, new moons are about letting go. They are about shedding. They are about releasing. They are about bringing up a lot of the, the darkness, the shadow, the skeletons in the closet, all of the crap that we usually try to tuck under the rug, that kind of stuff. New moons will bring it out. Um, it is a dark moon. It's, you know, however you want to call it, but sometimes it could be a motivating journey because we want to get rid of all of that stuff. And then other times, we don't want to deal with it. So, you know, we may have a more negative um, response to a new moon. So that that's what happened to me. <laughs> Usually new moons are really motivating for me. But this time, I was like, I was really feeling it. So um, we'll see how it goes for you. But I'm going to be working with the Universal Mind Oracle. And I'm also going to be working with the Rider Waite Tarot, of course. So I'm going to just pull for you on your new moon, your focus, what you should focus on, just the energies, and give you some insight. That's what we're going to do. So as always, like I said, new moon tends to last about three days, um, even though, you know, the cycle starts to change in it. But... The cycle of a new moon is two weeks and then we hit the, the full moon and then we do another two weeks and then we hit the new moon again. And so think of it as within the next three days or the next tomorrow, today, tomorrow and yesterday, um, super powerful moments for the new moon. And then two weeks until we hit the full moon is your cycle, what you should be focusing on. So the focus is release, shedding, letting go or even at least giving attention to some of your darker stuff, okay? There's that Nine of Swords again. This, the, this card has been, it popped up in my dreams last night and it, it came up for a client reading just now and now it's up in yours. <laughs> It's definitely stalking me right now. All right. Journey. Beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's fish. A little fishy. We have journey. Healing and chakras. I love that. What a gorgeous card. Swamp. Okay, my love. So based on these cards, intuitively what I'm feeling for you is that the new moon was definitely hard for you. It was a doozy as well. <laughs> but I'm also feeling like um, it's actually giving you hope to clean up some of the mess. The swamp card is really making me feel like um, maybe your mind has been feeling very um, clogged. You know, I'm feeling like clogged arteries, clogged mind not being able to see clearly you can't see your feet in the water you can't think clearly everything's clogged that's the that's what intuition is telling me um and i feel like that's your experience the, for the last few days perhaps even maybe even approaching the new moon you are already starting to feel like i can't focus i can't 
I can't think clearly. Nothing's coming to mind. I don't have the words. I, I don't know how to express what I'm feeling. I'm just all over the place. Like perhaps you were feeling that. Um, what I'm seeing at the core that I pulled is the healing or, or the chakra card. This new, ooh, excuse me. This new moon energy is very healing for you. It is, it's a time of healing. That's the main focus here. But the main, other main focus I'm seeing is connecting with all seven of your energy points in your body. I don't know if you are familiar with the chakras, but um, you have the root, which is associated in red. It's at the base of your spine, or you can look at it at your feet. Um, so that is all about being grounded. We have solar um, uh, sacral chakra, which is orange. It sits at your abdomen. This is your creation point, your sexual energy, your hormones, um, all of that, your creative energy. We have solar plexus, which is yellow. That's the one I've been working with a lot lately. Um, it's in your belly. It's your gut instincts, your happiness vibes, all of that. Um, it's also your health place because we tend to feel a lot of our, um, if we don't feel good, we feel it in our belly or we just know it's in our gut. <laughs> Um, your heart chakra, which is associated with green, it's in your heart. It's all about your love, the way you love and the way you receive love and the way you give love. The throat chakra, which is in your throat, obviously, it's blue um, and it's your communication and the way that you communicate, the way that you speak your truth and um, that sort of thing. We have third eye, which is in, you know, obviously in our third eye between our eyebrows, our forehead. That is your psychic chakra. It's associated with purples or indigos. Um, and it's all about your psychic abilities, your intuition, trusting your vibes, all of that. And then the crown chakra sits at the top of your head. It's associated with either white, pinks, purples. Everyone sees it differently. Um, that is your connection to spirit. It's your connection to God, to heavens, your spiritual connection, your spiritual journey. So those are just... To sum it up, those are your chakra points. So if you don't, if you're not familiar, you could Google it or rewind the video and take a note, you know, write it, write it down, pen and paper, each of these points. Um, and you really want to focus on that. So you could look up YouTube videos for chakra cleansings, chakra clearings to balance them. You could do a meditation. Um, they have like 20 minute videos. I, I do them at least once a month. You could like visualize your chakras, you know, and visualize you healing them and making them larger and charged. You can use crystals. You could just, I mean, there's different ways, but I feel like that's part of your healing journey. It's a spiritual healing for you. Um, I don't know if you're ever interested, but I do offer chakra readings, aura readings, and I also have a spiritual healing reading, which is a combination of both aura and the chakras. It's a little bit pricier, but um, I intuitively go in and look at yourself, at you. <laughs> and so there's a channeled version of the reading where I, I channel the, in, the, the information, I make notes, and then I tell you about what spirit has to say for you. Um, and then we pull cards and stuff, and I talk to you about your, about your healing and your energies and your aura and your chakras from a card aspect, from reading the cards. So there's a channeled version and then there's also the reading. So that's why it's a little bit pricier. But anyway, just wanna put that out there. And then with the journey, this new moon is definitely taking you on a journey. It's taking you to a new level of your life. It's taking you to a new level of your being, your health. Maybe you are more focused on making mindful decisions with your health. Maybe there's, you know, there's just a lot of crap that you're finding that you're discovering in your darkness that you want to heal from so <clears throat> right off the bat i could just see that the cards are very very powerful for you um so the tarot we have the ten of pentacles the eight of wands and the emperor it's beautiful ten of pentacles and eight of wands ten of pentacles is this is time for you this is abundance okay Seeing, and I'm feeling spirit is saying for you, seeing the abundance in your brokenness, okay? So even though you're not really shining bright or you don't feel really good about yourself at times or you're going through a crappy day, there is abundance in it. There's a lesson to be learned. There's something vital for you to take from it. So even in your darker moments or your most negative aspects, there is beauty. There is abundance there. I also see this as also indicating spending time with family or friends that make you feel close. Um, <laughs> so the next two weeks, plan a date with family 
or make friends, you know, make, make friends, make plans with friends that are, you're really close with, you know, spending time around people and really community, like having a community around you, you need that. Okay. The eight of wands, this is really for you, the energy of making decisions and don't, don't spend too much time going back and forth. Eight of wands energy is fast. Okay. It's quick movement. It's, it's urgent. It is making a decision and taking action. Don't sit and float around on it, okay? And then the Emperor card. This is your stability and owning yourself, your inner power. This could be maybe in the darkness. This could be issues with a father figure, okay, or a male. This could be an ex. This could be a male in your life that you had struggles with. Um, it could be an unpleasant memory or a childhood issue, something popping up with the emperor. Um, this could also be your own discipline. Maybe you are just trying to be more disciplined with yourself or you are trying to be more assertive in saying no. I'm learning that this, this week I'm learning the power of no. <laughs> so, um, perhaps maybe that's something you're dealing with too. Um, embracing your own, your own energy, your own power and saying, you know, no, I'm not going to do that for you or no, I don't have the time to do that. Or, um, you know, just saying no in general, you know, sometimes we get so used to saying or feeling like we have to say yes to people. So emperor energy is very firm. He's very secure in himself. He's he's just stable. He knows himself. He's very um, assertive. You know, he's not going to do things he doesn't want to do. So perhaps that's also in you. It's also the card of Aries and Aries energy is like all about action, all about fitness, all about health, all about this and that. So I do feel like um, perhaps you are dealing with some health stuff, wanting to, you know, maybe eat better or get more exercise or maybe there is a spiritual health there that you need to focus on. So that's why I felt like I needed to share my other services with you. But whatever the case may be, um, the new moon to me looks like it's more of actually taking action. Perhaps you've already been thinking all along of what I want to do, but now this new moon is pushing you to make the move shed. Let's, it's time to, to actually take action and do it. So I do see beautiful stuff happening. I feel it's a healing journey the next two weeks. I feel like there's a lot of topics that will be popping up for you. It's a beautiful moon. Know that even though it was rough, it's going to get easier, especially if you're putting in the time to improve um but i do feel like a lot of it has to do with your spiritual health okay so with that my love that concludes your new moon reading thank you so much for allowing me to read for you um and if you have any other questions or you would like any additional insight um please reach out let me know email me um and yeah thank you so much for allowing me to read for you i will talk to you later bye loves